What's so fascinating to me with all the fear of Alzheimer's and the pervasiveness of Al Alzheimer's, that you say that genetics plays a role only in 5% of Alzheimer's patients, but 5% can be a lot. So let's break that down. So if my parents or someone in my immediate family had Alzheimer's, what's the increased likelihood of me getting Alzheimer's? Your risk for getting Alzheimer's, if your parent had Alzheimer's, if I had a parent with Alzheimer's, would be 21%. But if I had no parent with Alzheimer's, my risk for getting Alzheimer's is 13%. So it's not that big a difference. And in fact, what I found is that if I know that I have a family member or a parent with Alzheimer's, I'm more likely to seek help early and try to embrace techniques that can help keep me functional. So that's a common fallacy when people talk about Alzheimer's is they think it's all genetic, and that's not true. A, a very small percentage of Alzheimer's cases are inherited. Now, if you have a family member who had Alzheimer's before the age of 60, then you're much more likely to inherit it from them, from a parent. But if your parent had Alzheimer's, say, in their 80s or 90s, which is the most common type of Alzheimer's, then your risk is not that much more than the average person who has no parent with Alzheimer's. Is that called lifestyle onset Alzheimer's versus genetic Alzheimer's? That's right. right. That's right. That early onset mm -hmm. Alzheimer's, right. Alzheimer's before right. the age of 60, is very strongly right. genetically determined. You can escape it. And is but late have, onset right. is very much not. A lot of lifestyle factors modify it. So you can be an identical twin at 85, identical, that means your genetics are exactly alike, and you have Alzheimer's, and your twin who's 85 doesn't have it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So now let me ask you this. Um, is the gene, so is it a singular gene or it's multiple genes? Because you it's know, breast cancer, they talk about the BRCA gene. Yeah. Right. Um, there are multiple genes with Alzheimer's and there are multiple genes with early onset Alzheimer's, multiple genes involved in late onset Alzheimer's that increase the risk, but they don't necessarily cause Alzheimer's. So it's a very complex phenomenon trying to figure out genetics. But the message I always try to get to my patients is Alzheimer's is genetic in only a small fraction. And if you have one of those genes, it doesn't mean it's going to be expressed. Is that correct? That is correct. Right. Yeah. So if you do, do people, I don't, know if, I don't know if these are included in you know, the 23andMe's or whatever genetic testing. Is this a place where people want to have genetic testing or really not so much? I don't do genetic testing in my patients because I feel that you just basically give them a smoking bomb to hold because the bomb may not explode. It may just be there smoking for the rest of their lives and it makes them really nervous. So the only time I use genetic testing is if it's going to um, help me in some way in terms of managing the patient. Um, so for the most part, I think until we understand better the genetics of Alzheimer's, which we don't yet, um, I don't do genetic testing as a okay. rule. So then you can presume, so back to then, if my parents had genetics, if someone's parents had Alzheimer's, early onset Alzheimer's, um, what are the steps that someone should take to try and reduce their risk of those genes mm -hmm. expressing itself? So if they have early onset Alzheimer's, that means they're going to, if they have the gene, then they are for sure going to get the illness. They can't present it. They can't prevent it. They can do certain lifestyle right. things mm -hmm. to improve their chances of living longer. But if they do have the gene, then it's highly likely that they will manifest the illness. If you have late onset Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's beginning later in life, then there are a lot more modifiable things that we can do. Okay. Yeah, so that's kind of a good sad... Good news, but bad news. Yeah. Yes. But the good news is early onset Alzheimer's is less than 1% of the population. Right. Very, yeah. very low. Important very, to know. very 1% of the patients who are diagnosed with Alzheimer's. So very low. All right. Yeah. Thanks so much. You're welcome. If you like what you just saw, come to our website. We have many more videos with Dr. Devi. You can buy her book too, The Spectrum of Hope. Here's mine. It's all dog-eared because there's so much important information in it about the, the new learning and understanding about Alzheimer's. And do me a favor, do that social thing. Let other people know about these very important videos. Come to our website, bottomlineinc.com.